Guys, I just chopped my bangs like 20 minutes ago and styled it and I have little hairs like all over my face that are just itching the crap out of me. So if you see me touching my face over and over again, that is why. Hi guys and welcome back. Um, I am back from YouTube hiatus. I have been gone for way too long. It's been like over a year. So I figured I would hop back on here and make a video. I have recently been getting the boxy charm boxes and I thought why not sit down and film a little video a little unboxing video for you guys I um, had gotten a few previously that I had paid for and then somehow ended up on boxy charms PR list which is really cool so thank you boxy charm I figured I would come and film a video unbox it and then do a little try on for you guys so boxycharm retails for $21 a month and you get all full-size products and it always adds up to more than $100 in product which I think is really cool I figured what I would do is unbox everything first um, I have a naked face just some foundation concealer and eyebrows on because I don't know what's in the box this is a mystery to me and we can go ahead and play with all the new products that I have received so let's go ahead and jump right in and here we go I'm not I'm not gonna look I'm just gonna grab all right so the first thing we are starting off with is a luminous silk compact blusher from the brand note all right so here's the packaging nice pretty black sleek packaging the shade is desert rose so it's like a corally rosy pink color it looks matte um i love me a matte blush so and i love coral tones on my skin tone because i have a little bit more of a warmer complexion so that is really exciting it looks like Full size, this retails for $11.99. Alright, next we have the Needles No More uh, No More Baggage from Dr. Brandt, which is a depuffing eye gel. I am not going to be taking off my foundation, but I will give this a try on the back of my hand to see how it feels. I love Dr. Brandt's products when I worked at Sephora. It was one of my go-tos just because all of their products are very good <laughs> he just created some really nice products and i'm really excited to see how this one performs because lord knows these eye bags are strong oh and this one retails for 42 dollars it says it's formulated with bio mimetic technology peptides and botanical extracts you are guaranteed visibly reduced under eye bags and dark circles um, next we have the brand Shella, which is a tantalizing taupe eyebrow cream. I am not taupe. I am. I literally use black eyeliner on my eyebrows. So this is not my shade. It looks really nice though. I mean, it's got a little brush on one side and then it's got the product in this little cap. So you twist it off. This is a great like on the go product. This one retails for $26. Um, it looks like it's going to be like a pomade type product. So um, like the Anastasia or the ColourPop or the Kat Von D type formula. All right, next we have the brand Wander Beauty. This is, I've been wanting to try their mascara. So I'm really excited about this. This is their Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara. Um, it retails for $24 and I think you can get this at Sephora. I know you used to be able to. I'm not sure if you still can um, It says this award-winning black and intensely glossy mascara will bring Your lashes to new heights literally the unleashed I cannot talk today the unlashed mascara volumizes lengthens strengthens and conditions your lashes while using a combination of gentle ingredients it looks like we have one final product Ooh, it looks to be an eyeshadow palette, which I'm very excited for. It's from the brand Crown. 
Ooh, so it's a really pretty neutral palette. It has a nice little mirror on this side too. This is probably going to go in my uh, kit for clients, my freelance kit, just because it looks like really pretty bridal tones. But I will be playing with it first to see if I approve to put it on clients. Um, this one runs $29.99. It's called their Fuego Eyeshadow Collection. It's got four shimmer shades and six matte shades, making this the palette for all your glam hashtag goals. Hi, yes, hello. Um, sorry that I don't know where I left off because my mom called me and I had to answer. So now we are back and I figured I would just stop rambling about whatever I was rambling about because I just it probably made no sense and I figured we would just get right into the trying on portion of this video sorry this video is a shit show um, but it is what it is you know that's what that's what my channel is all about I post one video a year and it's just a shit show so I guess what we'll do I put some bronzer on um, while I was on the phone with my mom to kind of speed up the process a little bit. So the first thing that we are going to do is we'll do some blush. So the note blush, I'm going to apply it. I don't have the cleanest brushes right now. Um, I just need to change the name of this channel to Becca's Shit Show. So we're going to use the Luxie 552 Tapered Highlighter Brush. I got this brush last month in BoxyCharm and um, it, I dipped in once and it had a lot of color pay off. It's very bright, but I like the tone a lot. It's a great summer tone. When I apply blush, I always apply it to my cheekbones and then blend the excess product up to the rest of my cheek just to give a nice flush of color. But that is that and it is very pretty. I always do blush and then I go in with my highlighter, so I'm just going to go in real fast with the Anastasia Amrezy highlighter with my Sephora 98 highlighter brush. Favorite highlighter and favorite highlighter brush, just in case you guys were wondering. Alright, so... I like the blush. I highly recommend the blush. It is a nice blush for $11.99. Um, you get a good amount of product. It is 0.19 ounces of product, which let me do a little comparison. So let's say a MAC blush has 0.21 grams of product, um, and MAC blushes usually run, I want to say they're like $28 now. So a little bit more product but for way more money, this one's $11.99 and a fantastic deal. Next what we'll do is go in to the eyeshadow, the crown eyeshadow palette. So for eyeshadow primer, I'm going to go in with my tried and true Urban Decay Enigma primer. I used this so sparingly because it was limited edition and I have the fear of running out of this product this palette doesn't look like it comes with a like matte beige tone to set my um primer so i'm just gonna go in with my nars uh, paloma contour palette the lighter shade because it is matte and just set that just so that the other colors blend out nicely. And then I'm going to grab a clean brush. Um, we'll just say this one's clean. I'm just gonna go in with an Anastasia double ended brush from one of her eyeshadow palettes. And I'm going to go in with this medium brown matte shade. And I'm going to run that into my crease. It seems to be blending quite nicely. I'm going to use the mirror that I came with. 
all right so now that that color is on I'm going to go in with this ready tone I kind of want to do a deeper eye look I'm feeling a little vampy so I'm going to take the other side of this um, double ended brush and kind of place that in the outer corner and then flip it around and blend it in this color is not as deep as I was expecting it to be like I blended it and it just kind of blended away I guess I mean it's it blends beautifully but it's definitely a color you're gonna have to kind of layer up a few times to get to that quality pigmentation that we all came here to see so next we're gonna go in <clears throat> to the shade right next to it that deeper tone that brownie color and I'm just gonna keep layering to build up that depth so packing that color on and then turning and blending yeah this I mean it's not a bad product it's just not blending the way it's not blending and keeping that pigmentation the way other eyeshadows do but like the blend that it does have is gorgeous you feel me okay so now that that's on I'm going to go in this color is speaking to me this one here it's like a goldy pinky shift and I'm just gonna use my finger these are this is really soft like really soft that is one time into the pan it's really pretty all right so I'm just gonna use my finger all right the eyeliner is on and I used what came in last month's box which is the pretty vulgar um, the ink black gel eyeliner which I really like it's nice and matte black and really pigmented so for under eye I am going to go in and apply a little bit more of that product just to my bottom lash line because if I'm not going to get the intensity from the eyeshadow I'm going to get it somehow and we'll get it from the eyeliner you see how black this is she is pigmented my go-to gel eyeliner is the Inglot gel liner in number 77 which is their black and it um, is like my all-time favorite and this is really good too I really like this one um, I'm going to go in with that dark brown shade that we used on the top lash line and smoke out that eyeshadow or the eyeliner with that shade using the back end of that double sided eyeliner I my god eyeshadow brush listen if you haven't clicked off this video already you either have a problem or you really love me and either one of those things that you may be going through just know that I love you too and I'm just going in with the other side of that brush and blending that out and smoking it out I like to really blow out my bottom eye shadow it just gives that extra smokiness not a lot of people like to do this that um I come across like brides obviously don't want to smoke them out but um, even like proms everybody just wants it really close and I'm all about that blown out like got punched in the eye look it's really really cute all right so what I'm going to do now is pop in a little bit of inner corner highlight and don't judge me but I'm going to be using a lip brush for this but um you know it is what it is I'm gonna take this light shade in the palette this light shimmery shade and see what happens I 
I mean, she's soft. She's not blinding, which is good. I mean, for like an everyday eye, I guess. I like a little bit more shimmer to my highlight in the inner corner, but that's all right. That's all right. And then I'm just going to pop a little bit of that underneath of my brow bone as well. You see, like, it's not really blinding. I mean, it definitely brightened up, but it didn't give me that oomph effect that I really go for. So we're going to go in with the Wander Mascara. The brush just seems to be your basic mascara wand. It's got a little bit of a curve to it, so that is nice. I know they usually give the curve to lift your lashes. That reminds me, I am going to get my lashes a really quick curl to see how well that holds a curl. Let's try this bad boy out. So what I like in a mascara, it smells like hairspray. Um, like drugstore hairspray. What I like in a mascara is lots of volume. I am a volume girl. The more volume, the chunkier my lashes look, the better. Thick, black, curled lashes are like what I go for if I am not wearing false eyelashes. This one, I definitely am seeing length, which I like. This would probably be a mascara, just at like a first impression that I would want to pair it with a volumizing mascara. It's definitely giving me length that I like, but um, just with one pass, not as much volume as I prefer. This eye has been twitching nonstop for the past two months, so if you see it going buck wild, I'm so sorry. It looks crazy. So just going in with a second pass. It's definitely holding my curl, which I like, and it's definitely, like I said, it's giving that length. But if you like a non-chunky lash look, which most normal people prefer, I don't class my, classify myself as a normal person. So there's that. Really pretty on the bottom lash line. really pretty yeah I like that I also am a weirdo and I have been using mascara to set my brows um, because I have not repurchased my Glossier boy brow which is my favorite to set my brows because it's nice and black and not super thick all right so here is the completed look with all the products from the kit minus the eyebrow formula just because it doesn't work for my brow tone like we just discussed i used black and this is taupe so um i might try it on a few clients first to see if i like it um because i get a lot of blonde clients so this actually may work really well for them um i'm going to go apply a quick lip and i will come back and close out this video all right guys, so lip color is on. This is Black Moon Cosmetics. Um, their liquid lipstick in Armageddon, which is one of my favorite shades. I guess I would have to say that my favorite products out of this box, this hasn't been my favorite box I've gotten, I've gotta say. Um, but I guess, I mean, I haven't tried this uh, eye gel yet, so we will give that a go. Um, oh, I didn't even open it up and show you guys, so I guess I'll do that. I like that it is a gel and not um, a rollerball, um, so that's really nice. The product is not coming out. Oh, weird. Okay, so it is like a orangey tone, which I guess is to com combat the dark circles. Huh. It doesn't have much of a smell kind of has almost like a minty clean smell it's very tacky too i'm interested to uh, see how this works so i will put this to the test and um maybe if i like it it will end up in one of my favorites we'll just have to see it's very cooling too but i guess my favorite products uh is going to be the mascara i like the mascara but like i said i'm probably going to have to use it 
with another mascara and I also really like this blush it's a really pretty tone especially for the summer and fall time because it does have that really pretty corally tone all right so I guess that wraps up this video if you liked this please give it the thumbs up um, like and subscribe if you want to see more of this mug and I will talk to you guys in my next video which will hopefully be sooner than later like a year later <laughs> so yeah I'll talk to you guys later bye